On this episode of Crafty Bees Fabrication Nation, I'm going to build a low dollar sand muller for your casting sand. So if you want to see how it's done, you just got to ride along with me. Crafty Bees Fabrication Nation, episode number two, how to make a sand muller. Right there, sand muller is for your casting sand to recondition it. In the upcoming episodes of my show, I'm going to be covering how to build a furnace for hardly anything. How to build your flasks for super cheap sand. And then lastly, pattern making. I'll get into pattern making. We're going to get you casting at home for next to nothing. I think I've got maybe five, six hundred bucks into my entire foundry, guys and gals. It is not that hard and it's super fun. So let's get started. So basically what I started with is a brand new box store. What's the brand name? Yard Max Smith Mixer. I bought it at a farm store for just under $200. This would have had the cone, and you'll see that in some of the photos that I'm gonna post. I just cut it down to about four inches because what I noticed when I didn't run it that the sand kind of slopped over the side. The most important part about this whole sand muller is going to be this base. This base is what's going to allow this wheel to compress that sand down, and that's where all this mixing and kneading action blending, whatever you want to call it, action is going to happen. I made a cardboard template. I got it to fit really good on the bottom. And then I just took my plasma cutter and cut it out. But if you don't have a plasma cutter, no worries. Use a cutoff wheel, use a saber saw, use, use whatever you have. I know a lot of us just starting out, we don't have all those fancy tools. And if you look right there, those dots, I just tacked it. And you can kind of get an idea how far up? It's right at the tangency of that radius. Just drop it in and weld it in. You gotta have that. This will not work without it. So next would be this upper framework. I could go into cutting and welding and grinding. I think that if you're building this sand muller, you or your buddy or whoever is helping you, you guys can do this on your own. It's just simple measuring. One inch tubing. There's right in there. I just, uh, what did I do? It's just welded in place. You can see a tack weld right there. I just slid it down over once I got, you know, where I liked it and I just tacked it. I didn't tack it hard or weld it hard because I thought maybe I might have to take it apart and adjust, but I did not. So getting to the wheel, the wheel is there again, just a box store wheel. Really simple. I think it was nine dollars, maybe maybe twelve. I don't know. It was cheap. So upper plate. I bolted it because I didn't know at the time what angle that wheel should be at. So I played around with it and I turned it and adjusted it till I got it where I liked it, and that's where it worked best. Right there. It's almost running on the same angle as the outside of the mixer. Weld it up. Get yourself, you know, a big bolt. I put some washers in there to space it out. You're gonna wanna try to keep it pretty even between your, your down mounting post because this will get really filled up full of sand. Let's move on to this center scraping blade. I made this adjustable and honestly, I've never adjusted it. It sits right there. You can make it adjustable. There again, you could use a bolt you could use threaded rod with a couple of nuts would work. That'd be a lot easier than what I did, but you gotta have that because that's going to redirect or direct that sand to the outside. It'll start piling up here. Then this side blade, we'll call it, which is almost touching, is going to take that sand and start rolling it over. And that's where all this mixing, and you'll see it in the video. So there again, this is scrap. You can see it's just tack welded works great this one i made adjustable too uh, i don't think it's necessary as long as you get this blade to run right next to the edge you'll be good to go so honestly in a nutshell that is your sand muller you need to have one of these if you're going to be doing you know hobbyist castings because what happens to your sand is it dries out it loses its, its compactability and you're going to get majorly frustrated with your molds because they won't stick so you have to have something to mix that two stroke motor oil that's 
The key ingredient with Petrobon is this two-stroke motor oil, and it doesn't take much, and you can see that in the video. So I'm just going to show it, show it in action, and I hope you enjoyed the video. What I want to show you is this. See that? It's just powder. It's just powder. It would never mold at all. This. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of the oil and I put it right over here and now it's going to start doing its thing. It's going to start mixing. You can see the the wheel is compressing the blades doing their thing. And it does take a little bit of time, but you'll see in three or four minutes the consistency of this sand is going to completely change. You can already start to see that it's compacting a little bit better. It's that fast. Now without this machine, it would be very difficult to get every granule of sand in there covered in oil, and that's that's really what has to happen. And if we get some clumps, you can just Well, there you go, gang. I covered it from start to finish with a cement mixer, a little bit of metal. I didn't go into how to weld in to fit because there's different size cement mixers. You're going to just have to go for it. Just start cutting and welding. I know you can do it. It's not that hard. And if you don't try, you just don't know. In the upcoming episodes, Crafty Bees Fabrication Nation, I'm going to cover how to build your furnace, how to build your flask, sand. I'll go into mold making and the whole process. Just follow along with me because I know that once you get doing it, you're gonna love it. So if you like what you saw today, hit that subscribe button. I think it's right about there. And thanks a lot for riding along on the journey. Crafty B, signing out.